Hello everybody, this is Brian Wilbert, and today we're going to do a fun little project. It's Christmas time, at least around our house, as you can see with all of my lights and decorations here. And uh, so we're going to do something in the holiday spirit. We're going to record some sleigh bells, okay? And we're going to sample them in order to use them later as a virtual instrument for recording purposes. So first let's talk about the sleigh bells themselves and how they're made. So. The sleigh bells on the inside are constructed of steel. Uh, initially, when they manufacture them, uh, they form an open flower. Like So imagine each of these opened up like a tulip. And that means that it's rather spherical on the inside, or at least semi-spherical at the base. And they insert a ball bearing inside of the flower, and then they close it. Okay. And then they coat them with nickel on the outside just to make them look shiny. So here's how they create sound. Essentially, when you shake them, uh, it causes the ball bearings to roll around on the inside, uh, and uh, the metal contacting metal uh, creates mechanical waves, sound waves. And those waves reflect off the inner walls of the jingle bells, each of these four walls, and eventually escapes out of these cracks that you can see here and out of the top. So essentially we're converting kinetic energy and gravitational energy when we drop it into sound energy. Next I'd like to talk about this microphone right here. This is a very common studio microphone called a Shure SM57. It's also a stage microphone uh, used for countless different instruments and things such as drums, guitars, you name it, they've used it for it somewhere. And so it's a dynamic microphone that uses electromagnetic induction. So essentially it's going to convert sound energy into electrical energy. And so inside there's a coil that's attached to a diaphragm. So when sound waves hit it, that diaphragm and coil vibrate proportionally to those sound waves. And it's moving through a magnetic field uh, which is generated by a permanent magnet inside the microphone. So when the coil moves as a result of the sound waves, it, because of the magnetic field inside the microphone, it creates an electric current, which then comes down the microphone out to these pins. And those pins, we connect using a cable, okay, like this. This is called an XLR cable, ground, left, and right. And we're going to connect this here to our microphone. And that cable takes those electric currents and transports them to an audio interface, like this. Okay, this is called a Pro Tools Carbon. Uh, it has two important components. One is a pre-amplifier, which basically takes the electrical currents uh, and boosts them. It makes them greater and stronger because the currents that come from these little microphones are actually very weak. And in order to get enough sound into our sound system so that we can record, we need to boost it. And so the pre-amplifier does that. Okay. Next is the A to D or analog to digital converter, which uses pulse code modulation or PCM to convert electrical currents into binary data, zeros and ones, okay? It does that by taking tiny little microscopic samples of the electric currents at an incredibly fast rate called the sample rate. And it takes that uh, and converts it into zeros and ones. And once it's converted into zeros and ones, a cable takes it from the interface into this computer and the computer records it on the hard drive. So that is how a basic sound system works, at least um, relative to recording audio. Okay, so we're about to record these jingle bells. We're all ready to go. And so here we go. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so we've gotten some great recordings here today, and I can't wait to share them with you soon uh, in some of my upcoming tracks. So again, this is Brian Wolberts. If you liked the video, please do me a favor, smash that like button, and go ahead and hit the bell icon and subscribe so that you get notified about all my new videos that come out. Thank you so much, and have a Merry Christmas.